Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sandor here. So today's video is going to be a quick one and it's on my Clertoline Australis. Another gorgeous day here in Southern Ontario. So today's uh, Thursday, July the 11th. Let's check out the temperature. We're supposed to get some rain later on today, but we're going to enjoy it while we can. So we got 25 Celsius right now, just a little after 9 a.m., which is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. We're supposed to get up to about 30 uh, degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit today. So just wanted to show you guys uh, my yucca filamentosa before we look at the cord line and uh, check out these flowers on there. Really enjoy these when they're in bloom every year. I got some more in the front. There's another one. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, Cordeline Australis. So I've had this in the ground uh, for, uh, I believe it's its fourth uh, summer right now. So doing very well. Um, I had this potted, I had this plant for about, uh, say about eight to nine years right now. And I decided to plant it, like I said, or uh, put in the ground about four years ago and it's doing very well. It's put on a ton of growth already this year, probably the most growth I've seen um, since I planted in the ground. And I just want to say that I, I do have to protect this before I start this video. I here in Southern Ontario our winters are too cold for this. So uh, it is a cold hardy uh, plant. Uh, it's endemic to New Zealand and uh, other temperate parts of the world. Um, so basically this plant here will take temperatures down to about minus 9 Celsius, which I think is about 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so yeah, anything below that, it'll, it'll die back. And uh, if you're lucky, it'll put up a new shoot like that or pups uh, like the one I have there. Uh, so again, they're, they're cold hardy and I'd say they're probably uh, an 8B and above plant. Um, they do grow out in... British Columbia, Canada, more specifically Vancouver Island and uh, South Coastal uh, BC around the Vancouver area and uh, their winters have, have been uh, pretty harsh last couple of years and I've seen a lot, a lot of them perish. Also in the UK I've seen a lot of damaged ones but uh, they, are, they are hardy and uh, they do very well and like I said if, if they do die they come back as pups. So uh, yeah I, I've been um, pretty uh, surprised about how well it's been doing again I've had it uh, in the ground for about four years right now and uh, it really makes a great great looking plant in uh, in any kind of a yard um, even if it's just in a pot uh, yeah you guys should definitely try it um, I'm really happy that uh, it's doing as well as I I thought it would but uh, it's, it's past my expectations so yeah again it's just a beautiful plant and you guys should definitely try it. So again, Cordeline Australis cabbage tree. And uh, again, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna make a sh short video on this. So, and uh, again, have a great day guys. And uh, thanks for watching, cheers.